So you're a graduate PM student seeking employment in the profession. A vocation in demand more and more each year. It's becoming increasingly competitive to assert yourself in the field. So what exactly is going to set you apart from your rivals? Well, we talked to the faculty of Australia's most prestigious PM course within the University of Sydney to find out what qualities and competencies you should have to make you a standout in the field. Firstly, a must in your skill set is depth of disciplinary expertise. You've got to be able to integrate and rigorously apply your knowledge and skills of a recognised discipline. Say you're working on a mining project, then it is your responsibility to have and apply the necessary knowledge and skills for this domain. Not only will you know and make critical judgments about it, but you should also continue to further your knowledge in it, which could entail research or extensive inquisition. Ultimately, you are able to lead innovation in practice by ensuring engagement in professional development is continually applied. Next up, you bet you should have your broader skills mastered. These include critical thinking and problem solving, communication, information digital literacy and inventiveness. Sound cliche? Well, they're there for a reason. In a constantly changing and evolving world and economy, it is so important to question ideas, evidence and assumptions to arrive at the best solution. And yes, you should most definitely be able to effectively communicate and report such findings, both orally and in writing. This means you should make sure your digital literacy is up to scratch. Competency in appropriate resources, tools and strategies is super attractive and a quality you shouldn't think twice about. Showing inventiveness and innovation is also mandatory. Being able to brainstorm ideas and solutions, regardless of whether they seem right or wrong, is key to the PM process and moving a team in the direction of a solution. Cultural competency and interdisciplinary effectiveness. That's a big phrase, but essentially this means you must have the ability to engage across and between cultures in the correct manner, as well as integrate and synthesise multiple viewpoints across disciplinary boundaries. From here, you can improve diversity relations within projects. For example, if your project constitutes improving education facilities for remote Indigenous children, then you must be knowledgeable in the practices and cultural context of the people to ensure communication transparency and thus project success. And since projects almost always involve a range of professions, being able to effectively collaborate with people from different disciplines is necessary to maximising project outcomes. Essentially, this type of thinking across the boundaries betters your transferable skills and will especially make you more equipped in dealing with large-scale projects. Finally, let's discuss identity and influence. More specifically, your integrated professional, ethical and personal identity is understanding the interaction between one's personal and professional self. Graduates who can demonstrate this trait can reflect upon ethical responsibilities because they have committed to the core values of professional and personal integrity. They will also demonstrate a proficiency in the professional standards and the practices inherent to the project. Many times a project will encounter challenges that diverts the progress away from the plan. However, it is being able to infiltrate your confidence and resilience to the team that will render these setbacks merely trivial to the process. With such influence, you will be effective in portraying professional and social responsibility, coupled with the goal of contributing positively to society the public, stakeholders and project members. And so, in endeavouring to master these qualities, your skill repertoire will be next to none. Exercising the qualities outlined will prove to your employers that you're proficient in the fundamentals of PM. If the competencies required for successful PM and PMP had to come down to a few, they'd probably be a strong leader, communicator, negotiator, risk manager and organiser or planner. If you can focus on executing and mastering these baseline qualities just discussed, then proving yourself in these five competency areas should be of no trouble to you.